Good afternoon, bus drivers. Um, here I, I am again to inform you, to teach you, to train you on how to properly inspect a wheelchair lift. All of, all of the buses that have wheelchair lifts have usually a section where there's a cover. It is recommended that you always have this cover on, on your wheelchair lift, and it's for safety. Safety for your students, safety for your our, our students on wheelchairs too. So please follow me to the outside of the bus to do an inspection of the wheelchair lift. This bus has a handle that says lift up to open. This is part of your inspection to do a pre-trip inspection on your wheelchair lift. It also has instructions here which says please do not park within eight feet because that's the minimum area you need when operating your wheelchair lift. I follow the instructions, we'll handle up. That beeping sound you just heard right now, it's just an extra safety mechanism that activates, even if I forgot to activate my parking brakes, it activates a mechanism which will not allow the bus to start or move when I open the wheelchair lift door. You wanna make sure that you secure your door to the bus's body. Um, I'm going to start from this section here. I checked the door. It's in good condition. The window is not cracked or damaged. And the seal is in good condition. This is also a kick out window in case of an emergency or evacuations. I have operating instructions. And I also have other instructions. But mainly, these instructions are for mechanical okay, inspections. I have my butcher lift. I have lights operating, and just please stand by. I will take my uh, cover off. Okay. We're gonna have a little closer. For, as part of your pre-trip inspection, you are supposed to have a pole, we're gonna call it a, a, a pole or your buddy. This pole is supposed to be here in case you need to use this manually. I'll start from top to bottom. There's labels that tell you be careful, this might fall on your head. It goes all the way down, the framing looks good. And I also have a stick or a box, electrical box that operates my wheelchair lift. I'm gonna step out. There's a head guard on top. It looks in good condition, not damaged or cracked. And the door, usually you go, you'll have a seal on the body of the bus or at the door. The door seal is in good condition. I'm gonna step out. Whenever you operate a wheelchair lift, you wanna be away from the bus. You turn on the power switch and I'm going to deploy this wheelchair lift and what I'm looking for is no jerking or pulling. Now I'm gonna put the wheelchair lift all the way down. please now that the wheelchair lift is all the way down I'm gonna start from all the way from the back and find my manual operating instructions which are right here they're very helpful in case you need to operate this lift manually then I check the hydraulic lines make sure there's no leaks no dirt no dust everything's clean I also have a sticker stating here the max load which says 800 pounds it also tells you you're supposed to use your seatbelt that it's in the on the wheelchair lift 
how to properly face the wheelchair, which is facing away from the bus, not towards the bus. I also have more operating instructions on this side. Then I also check my handlebars. I give it a good pull, make sure they're secure. This is a safety belt. The way this works is if I unlatch this, there will be no operation of the lift. It's an extra safety mechanism. I latch it back, the lift now works. Now, I'm going to lift it up about 12 inches. I'm gonna check the safety flaps, also the one in the back. They're meant there. The purpose of the safety flaps are to hold the wheelchair in place in case the wheelchair breaks, break or are not operating properly. As I raise the lift, I'm checking again for no pulling, no jerking. The whole purpose of uh, checking for that is you might have a student with fragile bones, a student that might, any kind of movement might hurt them. So you're checking for no pulling, no jerking. Now I'm checking that it stows back. We again, no jerking, no pulling. This wheelchair lift has passed inspection. Now you may have in your school district transportation department, different policies, different guidelines on how to inspect the wheelchair lift. But this is just a simple way that I do it. I hope it helps in any way. Leave your comments and please subscribe.